Keep watching for lots of knitting and crochet on Yarn Lane. You don't need to change channels. Pop the kettle on and meet us back here in a couple of minutes. You can also watch on the Yarn Lane YouTube channel and Facebook Live. To get a sneaky peek of the products featured on the show and shop, please go to the Yarn Lane website at www.yarnlane.com or via our UK call centre on 0800 4 700 600. And remember, if you've already shopped with Sewing Street today, you won't pay any more postage and packaging for shopping with Yarn Lane because it's 1 p.m. across both channels all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, welcome to Yarn Lane, the only shopping telly in the UK exclusive, not exclusive, yeah, who just exclusively sell yarns, whether they be knitting or crochet or toy making or anything like that. Um, and it's fantastic. And you know what? Because it's the 24th of the month, we decide to take 24% off everything. Not everything on the whole website, just what you're going to see on the show today. Okay, we've literally only just put them on pre-order now and there are people checking out on bundles already. Let me show you what I'm talking about if you don't know. We have a website, www. Oh, it's just frozen, it's just frozen. Okay, we just have to wait. There you go, yarnlane.com. You click on watch the show live. You can send a message in the little white box on the right hand side there. Now I haven't got my iPad with me on this hour, so don't send me messages on Facebook Live. There is everything, right, on pre-order. Everything that now we've already had the 24% taken off. So these are the finished prices. Yeah, now that's a bit weird because we've just shown a picture of one, right? But you get five. No, look at the price, 6.65. Anyway, anyway, and so we've got bundles of patterns, we've got bundles of fabric, we've got more, 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 got more, got more. There you go, that's it. So now you can you can still buy from the Yarn Lane website. So if you want some knitting needles or you want some crochet hooks or anything like that, but they won't have the 24% off. It's only what you see on this show that is 24% off. Huh? Why? Because it's just the 24th, isn't it? They just, they've just gone 24 on the 20. It's the best day to have it because you wouldn't want it to happen on the 2nd, would you? 2% off, 2% off, 2% off. No. Now, we apologise that it looks, that everything's on a plastic bag that it came in. It's only because there's no way we'd get everything on and off the table in time sort of thing. And it means we can just pack away as we go sort of thing, doesn't it? 
But look at the gorgeous colours. Look at these, these. Now, these are all mariner. Double, are they all double knit? Yeah, double knit. And they're bundles of... Sorry, that's such an ugly picture, isn't it? I won't show you like that. Um, what I'll do is... I mean, they're just beautiful colours, aren't they? Okay, the most... No, that's navies over there. <laughs> she said, that's the one in front of you. It's not at all. It's the one over here. Right, navy, navy, navy. What I'll do is let me hold this up for you. So you get five balls of your navy wool. There you go. There you go. That's all you get. That's everything there. Ignore what's in front of me on the desk. And I shall tell you what all the details, right? So it is mariner, double knit, 100% acrylic. You need knitting needles between a three and a quarter and four millimeter. Wash instructions. You can wash it up to 40 degrees. And it's navy. It's navy. And people are multiplying. Well, how much is it? Hang on. You get all five balls for 6.65. I know. Uh, 20, you already had your 24% taken off there. Saving 24%. Now, if you've bought something from Stone Street this morning, you won't be paying any more PMP because you're covered. It's one PMP for the whole day. And you're covered, right? So if you've checked out on those, you think, oh, I really wanted that bright magenta over there or the pomegranate, I don't know what it's called. That doesn't matter. Check out as many times as you like. You only pay one PMP. And as I say, if you've already bought from Sewing Street this morning, then it's already covered. Because even though they're different companies, they come from the same warehouse. Okay, every single person that's bought this so far has multi-bought, right? Multi-bought. So you've got five in your bundle for six pounds. and six. Well, it's quarter off, isn't it? 24% is almost a quarter off, isn't it? I know, isn't that brilliant? So they're the navy. That's the navy. Okay, right, now I've got fewer than 15 of those left now. Fewer than 15 of those left. So you can, oh, no, it's a different phone number. It's a different number. So you'd ring uh, 0800 4700 600 if you want to speak to the call centre. I mean, if you accidentally ring the other one, I'm sure they'll get somebody to come over it because it's in the same building, do you know what I mean? But it is a different, separate number. Um, and also, if you've got an account at Sewing Street, you do, it's, the same, it's the same login details and everything like that if you're trying to log in. Okay. Storm. I'm presuming that's the one in front of me, isn't it? These don't have num colours on them. Is that one Storm? Okay. It finishes 1-9, yeah? Yeah, perfect. How weird that the thing doesn't have colours. It only has dye, lot and shade. Or it doesn't have a name on it. Anyway, that's this one. Oh, already? Okay, like loads are going through the website. Um, I, I'm going to run out by the end of the hour. Before the end of the hour, this is a bit worrying. So look. So this is Storm in a teacup. It's a lovely colour. I'd call it denim. I'd call it a beautiful denim colour. But again, loads and loads and loads of you coming in for this one. Oh, four left. <laughs> oh, there's four left and there's more people got that in their basket. Okay, and 90% of people have multi-bought. Right. That's got a much bigger bag than the Navy. Which one? Righty-ho. Turquoise. Next. Same yarn. Oh, Dad's single figures on this one. How many? Oh, no. Four bundles left of this one. I oh, know. Again, people multi-buying. That's a lovely. More people got that in their baskets than we've got in stock. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to be talking about the books for quite a while, I think, at this rate, aren't I? Right. Right, sea green now. Oh, I love this colour. Now I've got more of these. I've got more stock of these. More stock of these, right. <gasps> oh, look. Now, you see, if you've got the navy... Now, the... I have to tell you that the colour on my telly isn't as gorgeous as it is in real life. It is the most rich, beautiful. Is it, we called it sea green, yeah. Sea green, they've called this one. Oh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Now you get five balls of the yarn, 100% acrylic, but it's mariner, double knit, 665. 
I know. And it is an exquisite, exquisite, exquisite colour. It's nice on 24% on 24% on the 24th, isn't it? Okay, I've got people on the phone line, so I will wait with you because I don't want people missing out. I'll keep, I want to keep you posted exactly where we are. I know, brilliant. Give the call centre a ring. Uh, pop, check it out on your basket if you've got it on the website. Oh, okay. And how many, how many have I got left? Right, okay. There are 30 people got it in their baskets. Now, can I just say, we don't know how many you've got in your basket until you check out. So it, all the other colours, people have multi-bought two and three of them. If they have, then these are going to be well, there's going to be more people coming in for these. So if you've got it in your basket, please check out. You can check out as many times as you like. It's one PMP. But it is that it's this is the price with the 24% taken off it. I know. Such a beautiful colour. Just staying with you because quite a few people on the phone lines. Oh, can I also just explain something to you? If you pop it in your basket and think, oh, I'll pop back later to get it. And then more people check out, more people check out. And then say there are 10 people with it in their basket and there's only 10 available. If somebody rings up, one of those will be taken out of a basket. I'm only warning you because put it in your basket doesn't guarantee it's yours. Just so you know. Okay, now there's less than 20, but there's 30 in baskets and there's people on the phone lines. 31 in baskets now. So please, 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 if you really want it, please check out. Okay. Sorry if you're missing out. I'm, I, we knew it was going to be busy, but we didn't realise quite how busy. <gasps> oh, purple. This is beautiful. This is... Of the purples, there's only two of the purples left. It's definitely this one, isn't it? The dark purple. Yep. Dark purple. It's a Uruguayan amethyst colour, this one. Beautiful, beautiful. Very spiritual. But there's only two of those left. And I'm surprised they haven't been checked out yet. Gone. Now, there, oh, sorry, there are people missing out. I do apologise. Lupin. Oh, I love a lupin. I tell you what, my lupins are coming up already. I thought it was a bit early for lupins, but they're coming up already. It is warm, isn't it, at the moment? My roses are flourishing, I can't tell you. This is good. Now, I, it's called lupin. I'd have called it... Um, now, is it a, a violet... A lilac or a lavender, would you call this one? Lilac. Okay, sorry about that. More people in Boston. <laughs> As I know sooner pick it up, it's because I'm practising. I'm practising when I have Maisie over to stay, you see. That's how I hold this. I won't put you in a plastic bag. No, I want to take her home. But to hold her up, you know. Right, hang on. Let me, get, let, me, let me just rearrange. Let me just rearrange. Which one? No, that, that doesn't end 86, and, and 03, that one finishes. Cerise is coming up, 72. Siesta, um, I've got 86. Oh, there you go. You said it was that one, you said it was that one. This one, uh, an unusual colour for begonia. I'm not an unusual colour. I mean, I wouldn't. I'd have gone for begonia, one of the pinks, not this stuff. Look, it's beautiful, isn't it? Six sixty-five. Um, so far everything sold out. Just to warn you, so far everything has so that's gone now as well, um, and it's only quarter past. Yes, <laughs> my knitting chat won't fill forty-five minutes. I can talk about the lovely jumpers we used to have knitted on Poirot. I could talk about that for a little while. Or uh, uh, War of the Buttons. We had lots of jumpers knitted for War of the Buttons. Do you know what? When I'm up this high here, the light's completely different up here than when I'm sitting down there. 
Yeah, I tell you that right. Right. It's got to be this one, isn't it? Yep, Poppy. Oh, I tell you, Poppy. You know, Poppy does um, pri our sister channel, Primal. I don't know what it's called now. Uh, anyway, living. Uh, she's got the most gorgeous wallpaper in her downstairs toilet. She put a picture of it on Facebook this week. It's lovely. Six pounds and six five pence. This is poppy. It is bright, 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 pure, pure poppy red. Mm? Oh yeah, there you go. Come on, Maisie. She'd be more up. She'd be more like that, though, won't she? There you go, Maisie. Look, this is me with Maisie. Yeah. There'll come a day when she'll want a babysitter. There you go. Oh, four left. Four left. I'll wait with you. I'll wait with you then. Yes. You just rock, they like it, bend the rock like that. And then what you do is you, you can, they love it when you do this. Yeah, their arms and legs are there, their head's here, and they go, ooh. We do that with little Paul when we're prepping in the morning. Yeah, this is your name, by the way. Or, or how to look after a baby. Sold out. You know, I said, you know, I said I wasn't going to open my um, Facebook Live on this one. I think I might open it to questions at this rate. Cerise, Sid Cerise. Did we say that was an 03? 03. Oh, this is, this, I'd call this pomegranate, this colour. Aren't they lovely? The colours are beautiful. Double knit, remember, Mariner. 100% acrylic. Just so you know, everything I've shown so far in my black bin bags over there have sold out. If it is your first time watching, normally we're quite classy. But it's... You know, oh, <laughs> two voices in the gallery, are we? Well, you know what I mean. We normally have everything beautifully presented, not in black bin bags on the table, but... There's one of these left. One of those left. Yeah, well done. Siesta. Fiesta. Bit of a difference, really, between a siesta and a fiesta, isn't there? This is a fiesta. Now, this is what I would call bubblegum pink, this one. <sighs> nice. Why? 665, remember it's already had 24% taken off it. That is your price for the day. You're loving these prices, I tell you. I think maybe they might be wrong. How good is Rebecca Reed at maths? Because normally we would have the before price and the after price. And the, but I think that's, well, I don't buy wool, but that's very good value. Fiesta. Siesta, fiesta. That's a song, isn't it? Shakira, is it Shakira? <laughs> anyway, I don't think it is. No, that's not it. That's not the song I was thinking of. They have this, uh, Emma and Hannah, we've only known each other the amount of time that we've been here sort of thing. And they're like twin sisters now. They, don't, they know what each other's saying. And they both do curly girl hair and they both like singing in the morning. I'm trying to prep in the morning and they're singing and dancing. And then Emma goes and does the hoovering and... Full of joy they are, of joy, full of the joys of spring. How am I doing with these then? With Fiesta sold out. I've only got one left now. Yes, the whole point of setting out like this was we we're going to come back and recap later, but we can't because everything has sold out so far. So what colour's this one then? It's called what? Sweet Pea. Oh, that's a nice name. There you go, Sweet Pea. Uh, sweet pea, double knit yarn, you get five balls, all 100 grams, you're saving 24%. That's a quarter of the price off almost, isn't it? Uh, did she say it with that sarcastic tone? 
Hannah's just no, Hannah's just read Hannah's just read message from Becca Reed, obviously does the show can. Oh, John Sooner never such a good job. Like which doesn't normally to say that's how Rebecca, that's how she read it out. That's how she read it out. No, you listen to it on the tape later. Oh, she did use the calculator to work it out, so you aren't getting more than you should. Off, knocked off. Rebecca Reed, I need more. Look, my table is now empty and it's 20 past. Um, we are going to run out of things before the end of the hour. OK, there's 40 people in baskets. So that there's only two left. So the first two to confirm will get those. Right. Right, there we go. Yeah, be careful because, you know. Um, can do what? I'll walk very slowly, but I'm going to open, I'm just going to get my iPad and open my iPad. I'll be back, I'll be back. Right, okay. Is that the one over there with the glitter in it? Lovely, I've got baby yarn now. You'll be glad to see only bin bag over this side of the table. But I have got 40 minutes left, and this is it. Right, okay, so here we go. So we've got Baby Soft, Little Star. You do get all three. You get one of each in there. You get the grey, the blue, and the pink. But they have got a little fleck of gorgeousness in them. They, these two have got a little um, green Lurex thread, and this one's got a silver Lurex thread. thread. Ignore that big thing there. There you go. Right. Oh, people, multi-buying and triple-buying, I'm being told now. Let me look up Yarn Lane. Yarn Lane TV, there we go. No, that's not what I'm meant to be doing. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't say it's gone, it's gone live. But you, uh, oh, oh no. Hundred percent acrylic. There it is, right down there. Got it. Ready. Good afternoon, John. Loving the bright colours. Well, Claire, weren't they gorgeous? Afternoon, John Scott. Did they leave your hook so you could demonstrate something? Oh no, they didn't. That's a shame, isn't it? I could only make them. I could only do it in my sleep, anyway. So in this bundle, let me just tell you, you get a grey, a blue, and a pink. Now, oh now, this is acrylic polyester mix. This one, acrylic polyester mix. 300 metres or 100 grams, but it's Little Star Baby Soft by Mariner. They're covering all bases, aren't they? Pink, bo girl, boy, gender neutral. Obviously, we don't, we don't stick to those whatever, but you know. Yeah, because Vix didn't know. If, she was, if you were knitting something for Vix, she didn't know until the day what she was having, did she? Hannah finds it very annoying when people do that because she doesn't know what to buy them. Why do they do different nappies for boys and girls then? Yeah, but all you buy is nappies. Not for herself. So she bought nappies before the baby and now she's had the baby, she's going to buy clothes. I'm not, I don't know if Fix is watching, I'm not telling you what I've ordered. I did buy Vix though, some Clarins um, tired leg cream. Apparently all my friends who've already had babies said they couldn't live without it. Uh, 682 this is, with your 24% off. Beautiful. <coughs> Loads of you in for that. Loads of you there for that. Well done. Now, shall we do some patterns or we carry on with yarn? Here you go. Burnat Velvet, this one's called. Now I'll read out what this one's for. 
Um, so this one is bulky five. You need six and a half millimeter needles or a six and a half crochet hook. You can hand wash it. It's 100% polyester. I love the color. I think the color is beautiful. Right, everything we've shown so far is sold out. This is £11.39. It's already had you 24% taken off the price. Oh, look, and you could make a blanket. Oh, free pattern on label, excuse me. Free pattern on label. Today, you've got a chevron knit afghan. Not the dog, obviously. You need two colours for that, mind you. Oh. Just saying. Oh. Just saying. Oh, these are all burnout. Oh, no, they're different. They're different things. Different things. Yeah. Oh, there's one left. One left. I am, I mean, I know I'm joking, but I'm getting a little bit worried now. No. So uh, what I'll do is Bex Reed is watching, right? So if you've got any questions, knitting-wise or crochet-wise, that Bex Reed can answer for you, just let me know. I've got the Facebook Live open. Hannah's got the email. Let's do the email quickly. Studio at yarnlane.com. Studio at yarnlane.com. Or, of course, you can go to the Yarn Lane Facebook page. So which burnout velvet should we do next, then? Or... Yep, yep. This is called Grey Orchid for some reason. I could, I, orchid, right, but I don't know what the grey comes in. So this would make uh, a lovely cushion. The free pattern on this one. Oh, is the cushion, is it? Oh, how many of these have I got? Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how easy it is to squeeze it back in. Oh, it fell off. This one's a cushion. This one's a cushion. Oh, they're random, aren't they? So the one I've got here is a, is a oh, I see. So it could be a cushion or it could be a, a blanket. Okay. So I can't tell you that all the orchids will have the same cushion on. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that porcupine meeting a new boyfriend last night. Well, they were making babies, obviously. There you go, there you go, there you go. It's back, it's back, it's back, back. You'd never know. Oh, now, Hannah, I've never watched Call the Midwife, right? And Hannah adores, producer Hannah, adores. Anyway, I watched about 10 minutes of it yesterday and I was hooked. I don't know what, I don't know which series it is. It had um, th that actress who was in Railway Children playing like a mother superior kind of. Oh, well, she was, she was trying to, she was pimping them out to work in a private hospital to make money. Oh, sorry if it's a spoiler. I didn't watch what happened. Oh, it's an old one. That was a new one then. Okay. No, no, no. She was on the phone. They were expecting a lady to come and visit. And they were all terrified and she had to have a cup of tea with two sugars in it or a cup of coffee with two sugars in it. And they, the lady didn't come. But then one of the other ladies overheard the phone... Are th you see, are, are midwives nuns or are they just nurses? I got a bit confused. Anyway, doesn't matter. But anyway, so she said she was going to offer her services of her midwives to the posh hospital to make money to keep their hospital to look after the poor people open. That's the bit I saw. And then Mint Minty was at a shop. Minty was in a shop, right? And I don't know if it was his wife. Is his wife a little bossy lady? And she was like saying, you can't have a lunch hour. You can't, until we can afford to have an assistant, you can't have a lunch hour. 11.39, this one. Is it 24% off? Four left. Anyway, I only watched 10 minutes, but I thought, oh, I could get into this. So am I able to go back to series? What series are you on now? Yeah, what number series is that, though? Oh, they're all on Netflix. I don't mind, because Christmas specials won't be part of the story, will they? But there was a girl in there that was on um, Strictly Come Dancing a few years ago with a blonde bob like that. Anyway, so, so that might be my new, that may, might be my new um, obsession after I finish watching all the zoo ones. Who 
Who was that with? Was that before we knew you? Oh. Hannah said she... I can go back now because it's in history and she's fine. She once broke up with a boy and cried, watch, cried in the dark watching Call the Midwife. For a whole series. Oh, for a whole box set. Not just one series. Oh dear, no, that can't be doing any good for him. 11.39. I don't know which boyfriend it was, though, and I can't remember which one it was. Not that there have been that many, but you know what I mean. Right. Yep, I've got the pink one here. See, this one's got a kind of blanket pattern on this one, so they are random, I think. Oh, the pink one's about to sell out. <gasps> yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? Barnat Velvet, this is called. Feels lovely. I bet Wendy Orlando wants to buy everything here. Call the Midwife, new series on Sunday night, says Jane. Thank you, Jane. What did I call it? Oh, I did. I thought I called it something different. I haven't got another one. Yeah. Uh, grey and pink. Hang on. 36, yeah. Now, this is for a... Pardon? Before I've even got out the bag. That one's sold out. That's to make a blanket with. Okay. <laughs> I think Rebecca Reed needs to realise how many customers we've got and how they love a 24% off. Rebecca Reed. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so, so Rebecca Reed's done this show for you, 24% off. She didn't run it by anybody in the management. I mean, I know, I know Rebecca Reed is management and she is Yarn Lane, but we have got a higher level to than Rebecca Reed, you know what I mean? And she really is supposed to check these things with, this, with her sales manager. It is a fun idea, but she didn't quite realise what... Oh, and she loves Call the Midwife. It's her favourite programme after Neighbours. But I've only got three balls of wool left and it's half past twelve. Right, not wool, yarn. What's next? And how many have I got? Sold out. Sorry. Little Sand Castles, that was called. Not Little Sand. <laughs> Oh, here you go. June says, definitely watch Call the Midwife from the start. It's one of those lovely series that can make you laugh and cry in the same episode. Oh, I'm like that with Secret Life of the Zoo last night. I sobbed. Absolutely sobbed. Oh, because they had these tapirs, right? And the tapirs, you can go in and stroke them. And when you look at them running around the field, they only look about this big. Anyway, the, the Kirsty, the girl that looks after, went in. And they're like this. And she was scratching under its chin. And it was lovely. Anyway, the mum, the mum was really poorly. And she had to be put to sleep. And it was just, oh, I was like devastated. Right, next. <laughs> well, the North Sea could be either of these two. Yep, it's the blue one. I was, going for the North, I was going for the North Sea on a stormy day. This is the one. No, I didn't rip that. Oh, upside down. Who put everything out yesterday? Yeah, dropped, they've dropped her in it now. Well, no, I think they'll see Rebecca Reed when they go, why did John come off air at half past 12? <laughs> or why did nothing sell after half past 12? Because it would all sold out. So I think they might notice. I haven't dumped her in it. It's her own fault. One of these left. You can tell us all your funny stories, says Amanda. Call the midwife is excellent. Watch it from the beginning. I'm going to have to, Amanda, at this rate. They cost more, though. That costs extra. Me t telling stories. Right, last but not least in the balls of blanket yarn. No, no. No, not the yarn in my hand. Me. Right, so what's this one called? Shadow Purple. Shadow Purple. I had a dressing gown that colour once. Wasn't meant to be that colour. 
don't know what I washed it with. I just came, it was a cotton dressing gown. It came out that colour. I need a new one now because I bleached the kitchen where the day all the sleeves have gone orange now. Not on this colour. I had a blue and white checked one. I know. Okay, that's not that's not a good thing. So Hannah's just said every time she cooks breakfast when she's at home, uh, she cooks in a dressing gown. She sets fire to the sleeve. That's not a good advert, is it? You have Netflix. Oh yeah, yeah, Claire. So they said, yeah, I can watch it all on Netflix. Yeah. I have Netflix. Have you ever? Have you been outside my window looking indoors again, Claire? Oh. That one bounced off the table. Right, now I've got patterns. Old books. Should we do the mariner patterns first then? <laughs> Does that end 02? Right. right, now this is a bundle of patterns. The reason they're all in their bags is because they didn't want to get them muddled up. So you get the lead. Oh, I had to jump out. That's the Aaron, isn't it? There you go. Aaron. Oh, you weren't looking at me, sorry. No, not me, this one here, Aaron. Then we've got uh, Mariner Double Knit. Oh, so any of those, that you could make with any of those ones we just had, couldn't you? Um, how many balls do you need? Four, five, six, or seven. How many were in those bundles before? Five. Yeah, most people multi bought. Then there's this one here, which is also double knit. That's pretty, isn't it? That lace work around the bottom. Oh, there's another one in there. Oh, now this, I did this one. This is Kat's favourite jumper. And she nearly wanted to nick the sample that we had on the mannequin. Aren't they lovely? So two, three Mariner. Oh, no, that's Mariner as well, look. But it's just a different format in the Aaron, isn't it? So I haven't had any Aaron, jump, any Aaron wool today, have I? Okay, so Bex Reed just messaged him saying, I love the fact it's all gone. I love the fact the ladies and gentlemen are loving it. Now I've got more space to, bu to buy more, which is true. Which is true because the warehouse is now empty. Of, imagine all the hundreds and hundreds of balls of wool that you've bought or yarn that you've bought, right? That space, all those shelves will be empty in the next couple of days. Anyway, so look, you get four. four how much are patterns then? £7.60. That's good, isn't it, for four patterns? It's not even £2 a pattern. Okay, I've got 20 of these left. So should we go through them? Let's have a look at them. So this one here, let's start with this one. Yeah, I'll do this. Oh, this is Aaron as well. Oh. No, I wouldn't say Aaron there. It would say double knit, wouldn't it? Right, okay. No, Aaron with wool. Flared short sleeve top in Aran with wool. So you mix Aran and wool then, I take it. So the size is, smallest size is a 32 bust, right the way up to a 48 to 50 inch bust. I could, I could take you through it, but I'd, I'd be embarrassed. No, not saying bust, saying knit one pearl wool, alternate, begin. Because look, first row, RS, which is... No, right side, right side, knit one. Then the little star means that you that you repeat between the stars, don't you? So that's yarn over. That will cause the hole. We all know that yarn over causes the hole. Knit two together. Repeat from the star to the last stitch, knit one. See? I knew that bit. Thank you. Oh, Bex Reed sent in some info. Is it coming across our bottom? Are you reading it out? Okay, DK is yarn weight and Aaron is, what did she say, yarn weight as well, but a different weight. Yeah, yeah. You need six and a half, oh, now, hang on. Oh, she's going to, oh, I'm not saying that. No, no, I'm, no, no, because you know what, she'll end up doing them. She won't give them to me, will she? I'll, I'll still have to do the roundup shows. She'll get all the fabulous guests and everything, and then all the, then she'll start wanting to do this as well, won't she? I'm so sorry if you've missed out on any of the bundles. They absolute. Uh, hang on. 
They absolutely flew out. We didn't realise it was going to be quite... I know I'm joking with you, but we really, really, really didn't realise it was going to be quite so phenomenal this hour. I mean, if you think of how many hundreds of balls of yarn have sold now. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. I have to say, though, 24% saving is a good saving in retail. To get 24% off something when we already keep our prices low is fantastic. So that's that one. Then we've got this one here, which is a double knit. She looks a bit moody, that one, doesn't she? Thank you, Rebecca Reed. Oh, there you go. See, she's uh, Rebecca Reed is really impressed. I do sit here and listen to her. I do learn. I do learn. Uh, right, this one fits. Oh, this one's not a smaller size. This is a size 30 to 40, this one. The Brode Border Jumper. All knitted. Oh, oh, hang on. Is the one? Oh, I remember this one now. So the, the bit round the bottom, you can either knit or you can crochet round the bottom. I must have had this one before, look, because there's a crochet knitted version there and the just the knitted version there. So where's the crochet bit? I'll tell you about the crochet bit. Then. Oh. Can't even find the crochet bit now. Anyway. Beautiful, though. That's nice, isn't it? That's lovely. Okay, that's that one. Then we've got this one, which has got the lovely chevron on it. This is double knit. This one goes from a 32 to a 50 inch bust again. Single figures on this kit now. Using three and a quarter millimeter needles, you cast on 114, for the smallest size, you cast on 114 stitches. Work eight rows in stocking stitch, but begin with a knit row. Purl one row, this makes a ridge on the right hand side to mark the hemline, that's there, right? Then the first, oh, I could do this one. First row, knit, right side. Second row, purl. Third row, knit. Fourth row, purl. Oh, I think we could all do that, couldn't we? Then we go knit one. Then the repeat is um, right twist. You skip the first stitch and slip both stitches from your needle together. Then you knit 18, and then you repeat from the start till the last 13 stitches. Then you right twist again, and you knit 11. See? That's nice, isn't that, Chevron? I like wide sleeves like that on the jumper as well. Right, and then last but not least, the Aaron. Now, my mum used to make me wear Aaron jumpers all the time. It was one part of our Christmas treat is we'd all get an Aaron jumper. Well, the last one I had was bright. They're normally that colour, but the last one she did for me was a bright turquoise. I am going back about 50 years now. So this one fits a 30 to a 40-inch bust. There you go. It's lovely, isn't it, that? That looks much softer than the wool she used to use. I think we got it straight off the sheep, actually, in those days. Quite a nice length as well, that one, isn't it? Okay, so that bundle is about to go. Baby knitting next. 94, there's three patterns in this one. Again, Mariner, look how cute that is. So there's that one. Oh, look! I love that one. I love that outfit. That's been styled beautifully, isn't it? Oh, now we've done this. I've done this with Catherine Wright. You start knitting this in the corner, just so you know. You start knitting it. Do what? You need a bit of stuffing for the bear's head. Um, be, I, I, I can't check. I thought it opened this one. You literally start knitting at the corner, and you get wider, 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 and then narrow, 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 like that. Discount has already gone, so it is £5.70 with your 24% off. They're all double knit. This, oh, now again, now these go from chest sizes 18 through to 26. I don't know what ages they'd be. All of the yarn I've shown this morning is completely sold out. There are more yarns on the website, but they haven't got the 24% off. So only what we had on the show was 24% off. There you go. Do you know, oh, I was going to make a suggestion, but I'm not going to. Keep your mouth shut, Tom. Oh, here you go. Aaron is a standard for the thickness of the yarn. It's the one up from double knitting. Thank you, Margaret.
£5.70. OK, don't worry then. Yeah, but that's not good enough, is it? So, I love this one. Love this one. Is that so? They're both double knit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then last but not least, for the, next, <laughs> for the last 15 minutes. Okay, I've got 20. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That was baby, was it? So is this one children? Sorry. It's because there's a man on the front of this co cover. I kind of was a bit confused. So that bundle that I just did was babies. This one is children. Oh, look at this. Oh, do you know what? No, that's my favourite. I love that jumper. Right, okay. So in this kit, you get four... How much is this one then? £7.60. 24% already been taken off. So you get a blanket for putting the baby down on. Or oh, it's a comfort blanket, that more, isn't it, really? Okay, so that's that one. Then I love this jumper. I used to have jumpers with fastenings like that. Isn't it funny how tradition, it, you know, traditionally things like that stay around? It's a what? Is it with that there? So, 16 to 22 inch chests. I could almost, cause I wonder if you can grade up knitting pattern. There must be a grown man's pattern like that, mustn't there? Oh, okay, so these patterns here have been on air before, but they've never been offered on their own without wool, without yarn, I mean, without yarn. So it's a good opportunity if you just want the patterns. That's nice, isn't it? What cut is that a Tyrannosaurus Rex? Oh, tomato sauce. It's a funny thing to put with it, isn't it? Funny bit of style in there. Uh, this goes from, oh, this is bigger. This goes from a 22 to a 30-inch chest, this one, for your older child. That's double knit again. I don't know how you, I wonder how you do that though. That one's a bit advanced for me. And this again is so cute. I imagine that in the, the softest, softest, softest wool, this one. Um, so this one goes for a 22, what? Yeah, look, you can make, well, it doesn't have to be father and son. It can be fairy godfather and godchild. My godchildren, apart from Chess, who is four now, they're all grown up now, so I could wear matching clothes with them. 22 to 40, so it's a 22-inch chest, right the way up to a 44-inch chest, this one. So you can have matching. Oh, I wonder why he didn't get stripes. I wonder why he only got the plain. Oh, lovely raglan sleeve on that one as well, look. Single figures, there were loads of those. We have single figures for that one now. Beautiful. What's next? Oh. Oh, yeah, I've got books. Oh, there's me thinking that was it because I've moved them over there. Oh, perfect timing then. 99 granny squares. We've gone to crochet now. 99 granny squares. Oh, oh look. I've never seen a triangle. I'll have to get Sam Sabido to do triangles next. Or hexes. Oh, no, I've done a hexy, I think. Done a hexy. I haven't. Hannah's going to make it, yeah, like the tote brown will be long enough, round long enough for you to put a cover on it. I'm not surprised. Of course, there's, there's, how many granny squares did we say? 99. How can there be 99 different granny? Oh! Well, let's just say that's not a square. That's a granny column. Column. Oh, they're, like, they're the ones my nan used to make. Oh, look. Oh, I might get this book for Sam Sabido. She obviously doesn't know about that one yet. I'll message her later. Oh, look. These are all taking me back to where... Oh, that's a nice one. You, that one there. 
It's got bobbles in it. Now we know how to do those. We did those with Sam Sabido the other day. And with um, Anna Nikoprovsky. No, I've missed a bit out, haven't I? There's a third bit. Nikoprovsky. Anyway. That's a really lovely one. I didn't even know. Oh, we can't, we're only at number 60. Sorry. I was about to finish off then. Have they all got names? Oh, no, they've just got numbers. Beautiful. Oh, look, that's uh, when, when, when Orlando did. Oh, in fact, it's on the shelf behind me, I think, isn't it? Look. It's a bit like hers, isn't it? Well, I've got information about this book from Rebecca Reed. Okay, she was going to save all these books for a different show, but she got carried away with the 24% off. 24% uh, off these have got looks. So the new price is 683. That's the price you'll pay. 99 granny squares. Who, who knew? Who knew? How much? Third of the stock of that one's gone at 683. Next. Well, you might. I might have gone by then. Hannah's going, we'll come back to that one later. I don't know where she's going she's to be. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? She's going to pack up today quicker than you've ever seen her pack up before. I'm going to go off and have my boiled egg right in a minute, my cucumber. She'll have packed everything away by the time I finish that one. Granny Squares, baby Afghans. Oh, no, because it's lovely weather. Yeah, exactly. Baby Afghans and the pub's open. There's online tutorials for this one. Now, what's an afghan then? Is that the finished thing? Rebecca Reed, is an afghan the finished thing? Flowered path. You see, because they've got more, th more than granny squares in there. Hang on, did we say it was granny square at baby afghans? I think they're little throws of baby afghan. What? You wouldn't want to clear up dribble with those. You can tell we're all very adept with children and babies in here, can't you? Emma's just went, isn't it an Afghan the thing you wipe up the spit with? <laughs> so what, do, no, that's a muslin that you're thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, it may just mean to throw or a blanket of any size. But these are obviously small because they're called baby Afghans. It used to be very fashionable to have an Afghan dog, didn't it? And then my brother had an Afghan coat in the early 70s. Yeah, a blanket. Well done. Quarter of the stock of that one's gone with your 24... Oh, 24 percent has gone with your 24 percent off. Last but not least, skinny scarves. I think you need more than a scarf, Anna. Oh, no, this is knitting. This is knitting. This isn't crochet. I don't think she was having a very happy day that day. Yeah. Right, here we go. Oh, look. Are they all different ladies? Is it two ladies or three ladies that? Two ladies. Two ladies, fiddly diddly dee, two ladies. Right, so that's a simple rib. That's a basket weave. Oh, these are good. These are good. Because so, if you learn if you learn how to do them, you might love them and then make something else. Oh, eyelet garter. Garter stripes. Mock cable. Oh, no, you know what that is, don't you? That's the teapot cover that the lovely lady from Yorkshire does. Nicola. Nicola does those, doesn't she? Now, that one is a bit ruffled, isn't it? Oh, it looks like lace. Look. Look at that. This is knitting. That's what my knitting would look like, I think. Seed. Simple cable. Crocus buds. Uh, 
Diamonds. What, what's she saying? Right. Should we go then? <laughs> Emma said we've done too many minutes. So we should go really, shouldn't we? Uh, have I finished? When's the next Yarn Lane? Monday. And that'll be Rebecca Reed. Oh, oh. No, it's not this. No, it's not this Monday. I'm, <laughs> I'm jumping ahead a week already. I'm thinking I've done my six shifts in a row. <laughs> I haven't have done one. Um, so she's doing what? Oh, she's doing needle tacking with lovely Barbara. Okay, so that's Yarn Lane on Monday. Tomorrow, I'm back on Sewing Street, and we're doing a small but mighty hour. A Disney, there's Barbara McClay doing two projects, and there was another something else. Anyway, something else. We will see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock on Sewing Street. Do not be late.